An all-new Defenders investigation is finding unemployment delays are potentially forcing people to risk their health and safety. Tonight, Charles Whitener says returning to work could have dire consequences for his family. His biggest concern, catching and spreading COVID-19 to his wife, who's battling cancer. But he says he has no choice. Another man quit his job because of health concerns. Both of them took their concerns to the Defenders team, and that's got Alex Shabbat asking, where's the money? Well, one of the men we talked to had a doctor's note, but the other didn't because his biggest concern was not for himself, but for his wife. Life's real world struggles didn't end when the pandemic began. I'm not afraid of work. It's just I'm afraid of working in this environment. No one knows that better than Chuck Whitener, whose wife was diagnosed with cancer earlier this year. The chemo just finished and Sam Lin, who needed surgery for a worsening heart condition. I was diagnosed with aortic stenosis. Both have been out of the workforce for different reasons. Whitener, a tour bus driver, and his wife, a hostess, lost their jobs in March. All the work pretty well ended at that point. And the same month, Lin quit his job at a car dealership. I left my job because of the fear of contracting COVID. But both men struggled with the unemployment system for months. By November, Lynn says he still hadn't received payments from South Carolina. I have not heard anything at all. And in September, Whitener says his benefits stopped in North Carolina with no clear answer why. They don't know why it's not going through. He says he's now forced to risk his health and safety and his wife's by re-entering the workforce, even writing a letter to the governor's office about his concerns. It could possibly be a fatal decision um, to go back to work. And it, it may be, but that's a chance I'm going to have to take. Lynn, on the other hand, has this doctor's note recommending he stay home or work remotely because of his health condition. That's one of the exceptions, allowing people to quit their jobs and still potentially be eligible for the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program. It's not like I'm trying to scam the system. I'm unable to work because I have open heart surgery. And just a day after our Defenders team brought Lynn's concerns to South Carolina unemployment officials, he got a phone call from a state agent. He apologized profusely. Then he says he received checks from the state totaling nearly $17,000. It was miraculous. You just uh, broke that log jam and freed everything up for me. I can just relate to what he's, he's doing. But Whitener is still waiting while he and his wife watch their savings drain. We'd really be in bad shape at that point, so that's why I'm kind of jumping ahead. That means jumping back into the job market. I'm kind of dreading it until this situation is resolved somewhat with the, uh, the pandemic. And still hoping there's a safety net to catch him. Whitener says he was working as a part-time independent contractor for the post office around Christmas time, but says he's since paused that because of the increase in cases around the state. He's not sure if he'll have to go back. In Charlotte, Alex Shabbat, WCNC Charlotte. If you find yourself asking where's the money, our Defenders team might be able to help you. Send us an email at defenders at wcnc.com. You can find all of our where's the money content at wcnc.com slash money.